hello friends welcome back to my channel it Bariwa. so guys today i'm going to show you how you can exclude user group or computer uh, from applying the group policy right so if you have a group policy that is getting applied on a computer or for a user uh, or you can say for a, a group and if you don't want to apply that uh, gpo or that group policy for that specific user or for a a client machine and if you want to exclude that so i will show you step by step in this video how you can do that but before going ahead i want to request you if you are a new user for my channel please subscribe this uh, channel it parivar and don't forget to uh, click on bell icon so that uh, uh, you can get the new videos notification right so let's say start now here uh, i jumped on my domain controller this is uh, my domain controller and i will uh, now show you how you can apply the group policy so to open the group policy i am using here command gpmc.msc if you want you can also uh, open from here by clicking the tools option and uh, group policy management right so yeah uh, this is open here i have already created here a group policy just for testing uh, like this disable control panel and one test OU, you right let me show you the test OU you details by opening active directory computer users and computer uh, console so uh yeah you can see here uh i have created one test for you right and in this for you uh there is a uh user that is test and abc computer right which is this which is this computer uh let me show you let me go again to the properties oh it's uh, getting closed so if i'll type here who am i you can see it paribar and test one right the host name yeah host name is abc so this computer uh, is domain joined and will test on this computer only by applying the group policy okay so uh yeah let me close this now i am going here and you can see uh the test for you i think uh, you have an idea how to apply the group policy and how to link uh if you don't have just you can leave a comment i have already uploaded the video i at my channel so I will share a link with you. So for now, I'm going to show you how you can exclude that uh, user or group or policies so, so that uh, this policy or any other uh, policy which you want to, which you want that should be not applied to the uh, machine or user, right? So let me right click here. And as I named it like disable control panel, so to disable the control panel uh, let me go to the user configuration administrative template and then control panel okay so you can see here uh, the option uh, like provision access control panel PC and pc settings is enabled right and if this policy will be enabled the settings will be enabled the user will not be able to open the control panel right so let me minimize this and as this this policy is linked to test OU and the test uh, like the machine on which we are going to test that is in the same OU that is ABC right and the user is test so you can see here I have logged in with test user 
okay the display name is test one only but logged in with the test right so here uh let me try to open the control panel let me do post gp update gp update you can do gp update force also so guys do, please don't uh, skip these videos because i want to show you each and everything uh, step by step right so policy user computer user and computer both policy updated successfully now we'll try to open the control panel here on this pc right you can see the operation has been cancelled due to restriction in effect on this computer please contact your system administrator right other way to check like the group policy is applied or not so i will show you here by going to rsop.msc so you have to run rsop.msc just to check like the policy which we applied that is getting applied or not right so yeah let it be open so this is really uh, the console which is opened here so as we have applied the user configuration policy that is uh, for con uh, disable control panel right so right click on this user configuration properties okay so what do you need to do again right click go to the properties and you will see here whatever the policies will be applied uh, on your computer or uh, that will be uh, listed here that will be visible here so that you can see disable control panel and the same same uh, you know let me close this first no same uh, group policy we applied um, uh, from the domain controller right uh, i'm sorry uh, it seems there is some issue with connection let's wait it uh, maybe it will be restored connection has been lost let me check it i'm sorry guys just be uh here should be restored or uh, let me close this let me try again let me try to log on this server in the domain controller again Seems there is some issues with the network I'm trying to ping that server 10.10.2. This is the domain controller IP. Some some issues. Yeah. Now oh, okay. I'm getting reply. So I think we will be able to connect now. I'm sorry for uh, this error. Yeah. So now connected. So yes. We, we we are talking about the uh, policy name so this the same policy disable control panel is uh, applied from the domain controller and the same policy was also getting applied to the uh, to this uh, client machine right so now as as for now the uh, control panel is disabled but yes now we'll try to exclude for this user or for this machine right as this is a user configuration policy so we'll uh, disable uh, uh, we will we'll exclude the user right so that uh, that policy will not be applied for this user okay so let me go here on the control panel okay delegation and you need to click on the advanced 
and click to the add button type here test one okay so this is the uh, you know uh, account this is the username right so we are going to uh, exclude this so that uh, this policy will not be applied for this test user right group apply group policy and you need to click here deny make sure the read option is a uh, read option should be selected right read and deny just apply and it is taking some time so seems server is bg yeah so you just uh, say yes and now click ok so once you will uh, click to ok apply and ok then the user or machines will be listed here so in same way if you want to uh, exclude uh, uh, the group or for any computer so in same way you, you have to add that machine by going to advanced option add here and like if you want to exclude the policy for group then you need to type here group name right and if you want to exclude the policy for computer so just click to object type select computer okay and then type here the computer name right uh, for which you want to like uh, exclude the policy right so for now just i am going to cancel this as we have excluded this policy for this user test one so let us uh, test now again on this computer on which we you can see we logged in with the test one user okay let us uh, update the gp gpu by doing gp update okay so last time uh, the policy was applied right and the user was not able to access the uh, control panel but now as we excluded this user so we'll check uh, if user is able to open the control panel or not so the policy is successfully updated let us close this and try to open the control panel okay yeah so you can see now user is able to open the control panel settings okay that means uh, this user is excluded from that policy and now that disable control panel policy is not getting applied on this computer so i will show you here by doing rsop.msc if you remember in last time the policy name was showing once we were going to the uh, uh, user configuration properties so let me go here and go to the properties you can see here there is no any policies listed or no policies visible right that means after excluding this user from that policy now the disable control panel policy is not getting applied so guys in same way you can exclude the uh, exclude the machines group or user from the policy right and that policy will not be applied for that user or for that group or for that machine so i hope that this video will be helpful for you guys so i will request you again please subscribe my channel and like share with your friends thank you bye, -bye.